Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes Designed to Taste and See that the Lord is Good. My name is Michael Moret, reading today from Proverbs 14, verse 11, where God says, The house of the wicked shall be overthrown, but the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish. Notice how the wicked in this verse have a house and the upright only have a tabernacle, which is a tent. But also notice that the wicked cannot enjoy their house because it is overthrown, it is destroyed. God's lesson for us here is that you are better off and you will have more joy if you obey God than if you do not obey God, even if you don't have as much as your wicked neighbor has, materially speaking. You will enjoy your little, if you're a godly person, more than they will enjoy their much. And that's because you have God. And he is the one who truly satisfies. Verse 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. The way that seems right to a man, at least when it comes to salvation, is for them to earn their way into heaven by doing good works or by having their good works outweigh their bad works. Or with some people, they are convinced that God grades on the curve. So if you maybe finish in the top 10% or top 50% of human beings on the, in the world today, as far as doing good, then you're going to get in. But those in the bottom 50%, they're going to go to hell. Well, That may seem right to man. (coughs) And in a free enterprise system that you're used to living in, that's the way it is when it comes to business and getting ahead financially. But the fact is, if it doesn't have scriptural backing and works do not, and grading on a curve does not, not as a means of working your way to heaven anyway, then the end thereof are the ways of death. So God is saying that the way that seems right to man in his own eyes, instead of in the eyes of God, will lead to disaster because it rejects God's guidance, it rejects God's word, and that will never prosper. Verse 13, even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful, and the end of that mirth is heaviness. God is saying that in this life, there is no such thing as pure joy. Sorrow or pain or concern or something negative is always mixed in there with even the greatest times, to some degree anyway. And that's the reason why people use drugs and alcohol to try to forget those negative things that are there, that's present in our, in our minds, in our life. And it's a mixture between good and bad. And we'll stop right there for today. You can be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse by praying for me and God's Word that makes you an immediate part of this ministry. Remember also that you can study all of God's word with me at the Scripture Verse by Verse website, which is found at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible verse by verse. Also, when you take a break from studying with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, you can go to the front page Click the donate button and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Until next time, so long everyone.